Got about well, maybe 13 hours into this today. It's pretty late. Um, lots of welding. So I figured I'd show you guys this before I grind, grind the welds down and clean her up. But uh, this frame was a mess. You know, from the factory, everything comes riveted. So these are riveted. Took them apart, cleaned there was so much rust scale behind them, cleaned them all up, welded them solid, and then went through and plugged all these holes that aren't used in their factory holes. I don't know why there's so many of them, but they're welded on both sides. So just gotta grind these up a little bit, and there is a ton of them. I mean, we're talking some serious welding here. Like the old Miller. 175 gets her done. So these turned out nice. I welded up the frame solid. Still got to do this front piece. These, <clears throat> this frame was rotted out all through here. This was rotted out, so I made a piece, cut it, welded it in here before I did that. Took all the rivets out, welded this top of the frame piece on, put a piece in here, and then welded everything up solid. So it's way stronger than the factory. The factory just has rivets in it. You can see where the rivets, so I plug welded everything. This piece was rotted out here, this triangle piece that sandwiches in there. So I had to make a new one of that. And got her stitch weld, welded, so. This turned out awesome. Been putting this off, so just a little more welding. I got to flip it over and stitch a few more welds. And uh, other than that, it's pretty close. See all these back ones are welded in. Tops are welded. Tops welded. Oh, forgot to weld. Got to get in there. Weld that. But you can see where the the rivets were. And this had two rivets here, so I really just plug welded. But once I flip it, I can finish welding it up. So this frame is solid. Pretty clean, a little pitted here and there, but not horrible. So a little more work and this thing will be ready to clean up and get the paint. And then I can get this motor cleaned up and painted. We're not doing nothing, just dropping her in and running it. And then uh, hopefully tomorrow I can get some primer on this, spread some filler and get this cab in epoxy primer, tip it on its back, do the underneath, probably spray some, uh, some Raptor bed liner on the bottom, get the frame painted, get her bolted back down, all new uh, cab mounts ready to go. So once the cab's painted and this is painted and that's locked down, then I can start getting some suspension components in and fit the box and get the body working and priming and rocking and rolling. So I'm going to try to stay on this for a few days and uh, try to get 40, 50 hours in it. We'll see what happens. So I'll do an update. I'm super tired later.